but today's going to be the last tutorial I'm going to be doing till, well, at least on Facebook, till after New Year's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down three moves, maybe four, okay? So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down in a way, yeah, that you're going to learn the timings and directions seamlessly of doing that butterfly motion and also how to pop off some awesome uh, illusion rolls, doubles, literally, and you're just popping off. So that involves exactly the same timelines and directions of this, which is also an absolute epic move. But also, I'm going to teach you how to do this. So this goes up and over, illusion roll, up and over, illusion roll, up and over, which that is, it's very, very difficult, but I'm going to break them all down. Let's do it, guys. But also, I'm also going to give you the technique of being able to go from your chain of minders straight to your dual butterflies. So, let's do it. Right, so first of all, we're gonna learn the timings and directions that goes off with this. What this is, it's basically, I'll show you from this side, is I'm gonna have one stick by my hip and I'm gonna have one stick here. So it's almost by my shoulder, if you see. Now this stick that's on the bottom, it's gonna slide underneath. So you almost want to use your hips. You wanna bend your, almost this way, and then push it up. Um, so you bend your hip a little bit this way, and then you're gonna push it up and over. And you can do exactly the same with the other one, but the opposite side, push it up and over. And you're gonna bend your hip that way, slightly up and over, and up and over. And that almost gives a, uh, a, a, a more natural feel. This is what you do with your hips. Um, so that's that move. That is really basic, um, but it involves exactly the same timings and directions that go with your dual butterflies, which I think is very important. Next of all, we're going to teach you this. And how you can rock at doing your illusion rolls with doubles. So, well, sorry, your reverse illusion rolls with doubles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this exactly the same as before where we're going to bring this up and under so I'll show you from this side bring this up and under when this brings it up and under straight away you're going to raise hand rolls so you know you can do your back to back like this well you can also do your back to back like this uh, which you're raising up and then ripping your hand down with that motion well this this is what you're doing with your uh or split time reverse illusion rolls. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this underneath and raise it. And then this hand is going to go in front whilst I'm bending my hip a little bit this way. And then flick it, my hip back up. And I raise that up. And then I go whoosh, whoosh. Until you can get this move. So cool, right? So that was, the first one was basic. The second one's intermediate. Now we're going to be going into advanced territory, okay? Late intermediate to advanced. So what I want you to do is I want you to have these both spinning in towards your body. And I want you to focus on this stall here. So you're, one, while one stick's stalling in this way, the other stick's stalling in this way. So if you're struggling with this, what I want you to do is I want you just to push a stall there and then bring the other hand in front and push a stall there and release out. And that, that there is basically what this is here. It's, it's just an, a stall where my, so I'm using my left hand is going to be going towards my right side and my right hand is going to be going towards my left side. So one stall's going that way and one stall's going that way. We got that? Awesome. So next of all, what we're going to do is we're literally just going to throw them in the air, okay? But when we throw them in the air, if we do nothing, that's going to happen. <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen, obviously, because you want to get your dual butterflies. So what we're going to do is when we throw this, this stall and we throw the chucks in the air, I need you to focus on the very first tutorial where I teach you this claw um, where you come in with your hand and you basically swoop like an eagle and you, you grab the rope. And as, as you notice, when you grab the rope, your two fingers will be facing towards your body while your thumb will be facing away from your body, okay? So it's more towards your left hand side, say I'm using my right hand, so my thumb's facing towards my left side, you see? So this is the positioning of this. This is the positioning of the eagle swoop. 
Then when you swoop it, you're gonna turn your fingers out, okay? So your thumb is facing then, the opposite way and your palm is facing up. So showing you this here, it looks like this. And that will cause them to cross on the bottom, yeah? Well, what we wanna do is we wanna work on this with both hands. So we're both able to make them cross on the bottom once. Much exactly the same as this first tutorial, where you make them cross on the bottom once. We're gonna do this quite a few times. And just go into it a few times where we just make them cross on the bottom. There we go. Awesome. So I, ho I hope this helps you out. Next of all, what we're going to do is we're actually going to concentrate on a knocking motion where we, um, much like we're throwing a fist, you throw that, say, the, from the outside and it's going towards the inside of our body. We're going to reverse that and go like this. We're going to do that with both hands. So this hand throws a punch this way, so we're going to reverse that. So that's the motion which you want to be doing. Um, coming back once you've got grabbed that eagle claw with both hands so you go here whoosh and you do that infinitely yeah if you want anything a little bit more broken down with with uh <laughs> with with this move go back to the first tour because i really do go in depth into this okay so we're here whoosh and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the timing and direction from the first two moves in this tutorial um, Bob's your uncle. You have got this. I haven't. <laughs> you have. So we've got this. Stop banging into each other. Like this. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. There. Whoa. It's turning into a cheer. Can he do it? Can he? There we go. Right. So what we're going to actually focus on now is we're going to mix move number three and move number two. So what that is, is you're going to be going into a butterfly with this hand, okay, whilst you're bringing this from the top to the bottom to underneath. So look from the side. So you're going here from the top to the bottom underneath, okay. So from the top to the bottom underneath. So I'll tell you what we'll actually do with this. We're gonna put move number one and move number uh, three, which is this. Okay, so all we need to do is I want you to focus on this. So I'm, I'm doing that prepare the spin, but I'm bringing it over the top, under, behind. Yeah, like that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into my butterfly with my dominant hand, and I'm gonna bring this up and over behind. And that will give this, which also is very cool. And that's just mixing. Um, everything that we've learned in this tutorial and that's quite a few variations so I'm going to finish this off with teaching you how you can go from your chain or minder straight into this so let's get right into it and let's break it down so first of all much much like um, do you know do you know when you go for a back-to-back -back wrist roll yeah what I want you to do is instead of going to aim for the stick do you remember when you first started and you kept on grabbing that rope for that through, through the wrist rolls. I need you to learn that all over again. Okay, so you go from a wrist roll and you grab the rope. See, most people unteach themselves. I, I see that as something which you should be able to do. Okay, so you go from the chain of my, from a wrist roll to grabbing the rope, which you should know. And we're here, so we're moving our hands from facing away from me to face into me, facing away in, facing away in, like this. Now there's gonna be a timing and direction in this. This is best, because you can throw this one over. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on bringing this in front here, and you can your butterflies here. This can be pretty difficult because it's, it's really, really complex is is very very important okay so there we go i hope this helps you right anyway um please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment sections and i'll see you again soon guys